the worst wife in the world, Emma Corano, wife of the drug lord El Chapo, will plead guilty to helping him run Mexican Sinaloa cartel. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm most likely wrong. So let's get into this story by uh, CNBC. Right, So the wife of the notorious drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman has agreed to plead guilty to federal charges of helping her husband run his Mexican cartel, court documents revealed Wednesday. Emma Corona Aspira, 31, is set to enter her guilty plea Thursday morning in U.S. District Court in Washington, D.C. Coronel, a former beauty king, Beauty Queen is accused of conspiracy to distribute narcotics to the Sinaloa cartel, which her now incarcerated husband ran for years. She also is charged with helping Guzman escape from a Mexican prison in 2014. Corno, who has twin daughters with Guzman, was arrested in February at Dole's Airport in Virginia, near Washington. Her lawyer, Jeffrey Lickman, in an email to CNBC's American Greed last week had said, we're working on a possible plea deal. By the way, this like Lickman last name kind of reminds me of uh, Ligma, if you guys remember anything of that. So Corona attended El Chapo's early 2019 trial in Brooklyn Federal Court, which ended with his conviction on charges related to the Sinaloa cartel, which funnels massive amounts of drugs such as heroin and metamphetamine into the United States. Guzman was sentenced in July 2019 to life in prison plus an additional 30 years in order to forfeit $12.6 billion. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine if you had like $12.6 billion. Like what would you even do with that kind of amount of money? Right? Now, like, if you're having problems, like, mastering your money where you're barely keeping a budget, you can learn how to master your money down below in the description. But, look, you could live a good life and not need $12.6 billion, but that's pretty nuts, right? Just imagine having that kind of amount of money. Absolutely insane. But feel free to give your thoughts if you stumble upon this. I think this is kind of going to get pretty interesting because... There's a good chance that she might not serve any time or do anything really that hard if she basically spills the beans on pretty much the whole operation, which she might do, right? She might end up spilling the beans completely, not even spend a day in basically prison and end up potentially getting into like WITSEC or something like that and possibly have a lot of money that she has access to, right? Like, who knows what the play deal is going to be like. But it might be something like, you know, a 6 9 situation, but even more favorable to where she doesn't serve any time, but then also lives a super well-off life with a lot of safety around her. So it'd be interesting to see what ends up happening. Feel free to give your thoughts. But uh, yeah, I thought this was actually a pretty interesting thing because, you know, El Chapo's been like around in the has been around in basically like being super notorious with like the amount of money that he made. So, you know, it's not a good thing, obviously, but a lot of people look at that and like, that's pretty crazy that he was able to pull something off like he did, right? So just view it like that. I mean, it's definitely bad what he did, but still at the same time, people end up like looking at this stuff and be like, that's absolutely insane that you were able to, you know, accumulate something like that. I mean, just think about it. Think about how hard it is to be able to generate $12.6 billion. Obviously, he, I think he generated way more than that. But to have like $12.6 billion, right? Like, that's absolutely insane. While on top of having to deal with all the legal ramifications that was going to go his way. So, just pretty interesting when you really think about it.